Hey guys, so today you and I are going to talk about making life more interesting as a software engineer. So let's get into it. So the question in question was, Frederick, how do I make my life more interesting as a software engineer? Well, this is a big question. Uh, you could uh, <laughs> you could do quite a few things. I, I don't really know how to read this question because it could potentially mean that, okay, uh, just in general, how do you make your life more holistically w w good like a, a, as a software engineer and outside of software engineering? Or uh, you can be talking about the specifics of software engineering. Uh, in other words, your life more interesting when you're doing the work of a software engineer. Uh, so I'll do a weird thing and try to fix try to try to give you my very very um, uh, amateur level not, not in no way I mean in no way a life coach guys but I'll give you my two cents on the whole thing right so making your life more interesting as a software engineer I think comes down to understanding something about yourself and this comes it really comes down to you knowing yourself well enough to figure out what's going to happen before it actually happens this is sometimes very hard but for some people this comes naturally and the thing that i will argue to you is that it's highly likely at the very least that you are a person who will get bored at some point yes sounds it doesn't sound super fun right but it is true you, it's very likely that you will get bored at some point it's very few there's very few people who will be happy doing the exact same thing forever at some point it's not it, you want to do something differently right and so what i urge you to think about is that when you start working as a software engineer uh, some of the stuff that you're doing in the beginning, it's going to be scary, it's going to be new to you, but at some point you're going to find this sort of dull, sort of, well, I've already done this a hundred times before, it can be everything from building a web server or front-end application, etc, etc, and you're going to expand your need to do things. And some people will definitely get to a point where they feel kind of comfortable, like the sort of the, the software and like the default software engineers who are just in it for the money for example like you find you, you learn enough to do a job at a specific company or in a range of companies and then you kind of just do that thing without continuing your you know, your develop your personal development uh, and that is perfectly fine but I think that it is important for you to have a holistic understanding of the needs that you have as a person what I mean by that is basically what I was saying you will get bored and sure, we can make a very, I'm um, 20 something, very passionate about programming. Uh, we can take a, a perspective on that and you'll say, well, that means that if you start as a front end developer, well, at some point you're going to get bored with front end, so you're probably going to want to do some full stack development and go into the back end stuff, right? That is definitely something that could be the definition or, or the meaning of what I'm trying to say. Uh, you should definitely consider the fact that uh, very few people really have a deep, deep interest in something, like something minute or, si or, or small, that they maintain for the rest of their lives. And but on the other hand, there are people who do uh, who have this thing, but a lot of people want to have a little bit of wiggle room, a little bit of flexibility. So understanding that when you work as a software engineer, it's probably a good idea to, for you to put yourself in companies and teams and environments where you get to try some stuff out. Sort of like going to college or going backpacking in Europe or in the US or wherever you're going, right? Uh, to look around a little bit, to see what's out there, to see what resonates with you. That is something that you can do and it's going to, it's definitely going to make your life much more interesting as a software engineer if we're talking about the code itself or the, the actual work that you're doing as a software engineer. Being a little bit um, open to the idea that as you grow older your needs develop and no matter how awesome something is on day one, your perspective on that thing is going to be different on day 500 or day 1000 or so forth and so forth. So I hope that you understand by the time that you have 10,000 hours or whatever it is invested in your career as a software engineer, you're going to be a very different person, very likely, from when you start out. 
But then there's this more holistic picture I would like to just kind of talk about as well. And that is that uh, that, that perspective is not necessarily just for the people who are who start their career as a software engineer just because they want to have a job. It's even for the most diehard passionate super developers guys, some of you are also going to lose interest in pushing yourself to the absolute limit all the time with this whole uh, programming thing and you're, you're going to get a so, little bit complacent. It's almost I, I can guarantee you not so most of the developers that you watch on the tech talks and so forth even they will slow down at some point and not go and do as many talks or as many things not not all of them but quite a lot of them because your needs evolve and I think that it's important for you to understand that there is a life outside of software engineering if you feel a sensation of unfulfillment it's really important for you I think at the very least once again disclaimer I'm not a life coach but my two cents are I strongly suggest to you that you need to figure out where the hole is where the anxiety is coming from, where the unfulfillment perhaps is the best way of putting it. Where is that coming from? Is it that you feel that the work that you do as a software engineer, if that is unfulfilling to you, well then a reasonable thing for you to do is to ask the next question, okay, but what type of programming could feel fulfilling? And then try that out to see if it feels more fulfilling. But if nothing really f hits, the, hits the spot, then maybe the entire profession is the problem. There are many examples of high paid people in different areas of our society, including programming, where they just felt that no, this isn't for me. I, I can say that there are things that I would rather do than this thing. And if that is the thing, like the, I truly believe that the heart wants what the heart wants. Like you, you can't control your emotions. If you don't get a sensation of fulfillment from software engineering, it's probably not the. Th it's probably worth looking around or trying something out before, to, until you reach that point, where you definitively can feel that yeah, this is not my thing. And if you have a steady job as a software engineer and you feel like that's kind of working out for you well then perhaps the problem is somewhere else uh, if you want a more interesting life as a software engineer you pretty much just has to have to understand that well you can do make your work more interesting that's something that's a luxury of being a software engineer usually by moving companies to projects but the life outside of your eight your eight hour job or whatever however you work that needs to be taken care of as well because you're a person and not a role within a company. A software engineer, that's what you do. You are more than that and you need more things. So if you don't fee, if you, if you, if you can just look inwards and figure out, the, uh, figure out the things that you feel are lacking, well, when you can express what you're lacking, all of a sudden you've taken the first step to, un to realizing that there are, other, there are things that you want and I think that you should talk, either talk to a friend about those things, how to achieve them, or talk to a professional if, if, if you feel anxiety or something like that. Talk to somebody about those needs and wants and say them out, out loud. If, if you can't say it to somebody else, at least admit it to yourself that there are things that you want to pursue. And when you have formalized and visualized the thing that you're after, now you can start moving for forward towards it and that's when people like myself or people who are much much smarter and more diverse than I am and ever will be can come in and help guide you with tips and tricks that we've found on our journey that might get you closer to the thing that you want. So what I want you to take away from this is that if you want to make your life more interesting as a software engineer uh, start by figuring out what it is that you're lacking why, why is why are you not getting the fulfillment that you are seeking if it's in the work that you do as a software engineer try to think about what would be technologies or roles or things that I could do within this space that would be interesting to me and try some stuff out because software engineers usually have the luxury of moving from companies and trying different things out if they want to on the other hand, if you feel like the work that you do as a software engineer, nothing's really hitting the spot, well then maybe the problem is outside of your role as a software engineer. Because remember, you're more than the code that you are writing. 
and you have to rec understand that the best thing for you is to ask those hard questions and really try to figure out what it is that you want so that you can start moving in a positive direction. Sometimes you can figure it out on your own, sometimes you just need a friend to talk to rubber duck the thing with to just say the thing out loud and sometimes you don't really know what you want and you need to talk to somebody who can make help you figure that out. I leave it to you to say which is right for you but at the very least I think that you should start thinking about where do I find my fulfillment because it is the fulfillment and sensation of purpose that is going to make you live an interesting life. Have a great day.